Good morning! So, central coast of New South Wales, let's cut right to the chase. It's a beautiful, stunning place and it's only an hour and a half from Sydney, which means it's a perfect place for like a weekend away, even a day trip because it's that close. However, it is a pretty big place. Like it's the whole way from Sydney to Newcastle. So there are a lot of beaches, a lot of neighborhoods, a lot of places to check out. It's kind of like, I'm only here for a weekend or a day. Where do I go? Well, I've been here for about a year and a half, like living here on and off, and I've scoped out some of the best places, I reckon. So I figure I'm gonna make a little video for like a cute little weekend away itinerary. You could even cram it all into a day trip if you wanted to. Just sort of like where to eat, where to get the best coffee, where the best beaches are, where to go shopping, where to walk around, different hikes, etc., etc., etc. So um, let's just get right into it. First things first, we gotta go get some coffee. There are so many places I love up here for coffee. I'm going to head to a place called Tawoon Bay, which is a little bit, probably like 20 minutes north of Terrigal, where I am now. And um, they have good baked goods at this cafe that I'm thinking of. So I'm a little bit hungry. I'm going to get a little snack, a little coffee, and go sit by the beach. So uh, let's go. Okay, I completely forgot that Flower & Co do these amazing burritos that I've had a few times. They have vegan ones and they have meat ones and they also have really good meat pies. I was like, oh, I'll just go in and get a cookie, but then I like fully forgot about all the other good stuff that they have. So anyway, I just got a sausage roll, but I really recommend the burrito if you're like hungry. Um, and I got a coffee, heading down to the beach. Not the uh, healthiest breakfast, but who cares? Okay, now that I am caffeinated, I've just come like another two minutes down the road to Long Jetty, which is a little neighborhood that has really good cafes and vintage shops. Suss out the shops, see what's going on. If you do want to have like a sit down meal rather than like a coffee on the beach, I would say go to the Green Tangerine in Long Jetty. It's great. So um, let's go for a little wonder. If you like thrift shopping, I will also really recommend Gosford. It's like very hit and miss around here. Like some places are like all old lady stuff and then some places are like old lady stuff and cool stuff. But Salvo's in West Gosford and then the Salvo's on the main street of Gosford as well are both very good. Okay, there are so many good hikes on the Central Coast. Like, honestly, I could name you 10 of my favorite hikes right now. However, they it's been raining a lot lately, so I'm worried that they're all going to be muddy. Like, it's too muddy to go, like, proper hiking. If you want any hiking trail recommendations, though, let me know because I've got heaps. Today, instead of, like, a full-on hike, I'm just going to do the Crackneck Walk, which is a stunning walk here. If you do any walk, I reckon this is the one to do. It's between two lookouts, so it's, like, up on this headland. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It is only, like, a one kilometer so like two kilometers there and back but what I've done is I've parked at Shelly Beach and then I'm walking to the lookout and then I'll do the hike and then I'll walk back to the car so I think it'll end up being like five six k's total but it's beautiful um, I do have my boots on just in case it gets muddy I just love this hike because it's so beautiful like you get to see the ocean but you're also walking through National Park saw a kangaroo or probably a wallaby here one time it's perfect and if you don't really like walking that much it's only a kilometer there and back so just park up at Cracky. Honestly, you could just park at Cracky and look at the lookout and then not even do the walk. Um, but I love walking, I love hiking, so this is gonna 
be my little exercise for the day. So on this walk, you'll pass by a couple of beaches. This is Bado Bay Beach, which I love, but it is early September, so it's kind of too cold to be like really swimming, you know what I mean? Okay, so the walk is between Cracky and where I belong. early afternoon that was a lovely walk well then i went and had a little beer at the shelly bay surf club which is a stunning little bar that i only really discovered like in the last two weeks but it's really nice sitting up there it's not too busy it's pretty cheap for like the fact that it's a bar on the beach and the food looks amazing everyone around me was getting like fish and chips and different seafood platters and it looked really good so if you are wanting to get lunch that seems like the place to be and um it's stunning and it's nowhere near as busy as like terrigal but speaking of terrigal i am now in terrigal oh my god it's starting to rain oh, that's really annoying but anyway I'm in Terrigal. I reckon if you are going to come up for the weekend and stay somewhere, Terrigal is probably your best bet just in terms of like being able to walk to places because all the best bars and restaurants and stuff really are here. And if you want to like come here and go out on the town, on the town and Terrigal, um, this is the place to come. But the reason I have pulled up here, spent 10 minutes trying to get a park is because I'm going to get an ice cream. If you do anything on the central coast, you've got to come to Terrigal and have ice cream from the Terrigal terrible ice creamery it's bonkers good i'm oh it's so good so i'm gonna get an ice cream and i'm gonna point out some of the best places to eat and drink around terrible so that you have the inside scoop fridge freezer full of dairy free ice cream and it's so good like my boyfriend who loves all animal products in general will choose the vegan ice cream over the regular because it's so good i got half a scoop of mint cookies and cream and a scoop of the apple pie which are hands down the two best flavors i'm so happy even though it is literally now pouring with rain um get yourself to the terrible ice cream room amazing stuff weekend on the central coast to a close yes i didn't do that much today but it's sunday and the weather was really nice so it's a perfect day to just chill out have a coffee walk on the beach have breakfast after doing a bunch of stuff on saturday you don't want to be going back to the city tired so yeah it's a good this is a beautiful place to have like a very slow sunday and if you want to like go out for lunch on the way back to sydney i would recommend going to woi woi and going to fisherman's wharf because that's a really beautiful place on the water to get really good seafood um, or just get fish and chips at Avoca because that's also equally good. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you've been inspired to have an awesome Central Coast weekend or day trip sometime soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye.